Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer, and thank you, Cabinet Secretary, for your statement and your announcement of the abolition of HEFCU and the creation of a new commission. Um, I would be interested to know how you foresee these commissioners will be appointed. Uh, will, they be, will it be put out to an open tender, advertising for applicants, or will it be essentially an in-departmental in appointment of, of, uh, of, of, of the commissioners? Um, we've seen the results of appointed boards in the form of the failures in care at Betsy Cadwallader in North Wales, so how are you going to ensure that the Commission is properly accountable? There's been engagement with stakeholders and I note a range of educational establishments, organisations and learners took, place, took part in the consultation exercise including the stakeholder events. Widening access for underrepresented groups and lack of opportunity for part-time study was an issue for the respondents as you said in your statement. Um, but I'm sorry, Cabinet Secretary, I don't really see any signs of you tackling the problem so far. According to the responses to the consultation, the biggest barrier to entering post-compulsory education was considered to be fear of debt. Now, we've already we've had conversations about this before. Um, this is obviously going to be more of a barrier to older people looking to change career or resume their education later in life. Um, but I'm, I'm sorry, you've done nothing to remove this barrier. In fact, you're making it worse. The stakeholders who took part in the consultation have, do really have, have so valid views about the system and are to be commended for their work in contributing to the consult consultation exercise. However, I'd suggest that if you want to widen access to education, the people you really need to be speaking to are those who aren't currently involved in the education system. Um, those people already engaged in the education system obviously have a great deal of knowledge and experience that can contribute to your decisions um, about that sector. But it doesn't really inform you um, in, in massive detail and from, from, a, in, from, a, from a very personal point of view why people are discouraged from resuming their education um, and upskilling or improving their skills in, in, in other ways once they've actually left compulsory education and that wind, that kind of window in people's heads for going into post compulsory education has ended. Um, so I'd like to, I'd like to see um, you consult with those people who aren't currently um, ed engaged with the education system to investigate what might encourage them to, to become engaged in the education system. I'm not surprised that advice and support provided to learners was a key concern. Um, and given the Cabinet Secretary's recent decision to saddle Welsh students with debt, it's vital that the Welsh Government gets this right. I appreciate there's, that, that, uh, that so much detail isn't going, to be, isn't, going to be, isn't going to be here right now, inevitably, because of the stage of the, of the process you're at. Um, so I'm, I see you've announced a detailed um, consultation on how the Commission will actually work and I, I really do look forward to, the, to seeing that consultation and the responses there too. Thank you.